Hey, to all of the naysayers about electric cars and renewable energy, it sounds like a dinosaur. Cut it out. <laughs> Hey, it's your boy, Jay. I get it. I get it. I mean, I'm not 30 years old. I'm closer to 80 than I am to 30. <laughs> but, I mean, come on, y'all. Come on now. Come on now. You may as well stop fighting. To resist is futile. And nobody, it, you sound like people talking about, there ain't nobody gonna take my guns over my dead blood. Nah. Nobody wants to take your little stupid internal combustion car. Nobody wants to take it. And your only reason for being fired up about it is emotion. It's emotional. I get it. I'm driving a Jeep. Right, a regular old school Jeep Wrangler and it makes a lot of noise and it's loud and it's rickety and it's weird and it's top heavy and all of that stuff big old giant tires gas mileage is horrible of course i like it because i'm emotionally attached to it that's all but if, if i had to save on gas i wouldn't drive this thing <laughs> if i needed to get somewhere fast i wouldn't drive this thing i understand the emotion behind vehicles i get it but what I need you to understand is to resist is futile. But nine times out of ten, the people who are resisting won't be alive when it's fully in, in, implemented anyway. So what to worry about? You're just arguing for the sake of arguing. Cut it out. Knock it off. <laughs> With that, click on the link. Because here's the deal. There are probably people alive right now who invested in Microsoft who have never owned a PC. There are probably people right now who invested in IBM who never owned that computer. There are probably people right now who invested in Amazon who said they would never buy anything online, would never put their credit card on the website. But they're multi-millionaires. Don't be stupid. But that amount. Peace. <laughs>